that is stagnation and sacrifice right things are pending for now I'm probably waiting for a response after the holidays and three of pentacles might be a dissolution of a partnership falling out of a commitment of some sort um, letting go of a spouse of a partner three of pentacles in reverse three of wands not having any expectation um, about this commitment about this person of yours right three of wands being impatient no i'm not gonna wait i'm gonna see my life through and here you show up knight of wands upright and and the three of pentacles in reverse i feel like you let go of this um such that is i feel that you said you know what this partnership is not for me Three of Pentacles in reverse, Palace of Coins, it was unstable. They were not making money. They were not having a job. Um, they were not providing. They were not making you feel safe and secure, right? Quite an energy there. Three of Pentacles in reverse, Queen of Wands in reverse again. You can be another fire sign you are dealing with. Um... But can also be like at some point, um, you know, the passion was no longer there. And the tower in reverse. We are avoiding disasters in this partnership. And this is, you know, as um, sudden as the tower is, right? When we have it in reverse, it's like seeing it coming, seeing the disruption. And, and seeing it, you know, understanding it's kind of um, inevitable, right? This is how it feels like. You tell me. Um, whose energy I picked up. So we do have the Hierophant, definitely a commitment here, and Four of Pentacles in reverse, and the Palace of Wands in reverse. I, I, you know how I feel? I feel like uh, a Sagittarius out there is saying to themselves, I am not going to feed myself lies. There is no longer passion in it, right? Four of Pentacles with the Palace of Wands and Queen of Swords in reverse is really feeding lies and the lovers in reverse. We fell out of love. And the Chariot moving forward with a disruption of some sort. And the Ten of Cups. I know, I know, such that is such a strong energy of letting go. Such a strong energy of... We've been committed, I give it my all. That's a hierophant, right? I was longing and wanting a traditional connection. I went for one, right? I committed to one. Um, and I feel that love and, and passion were no longer, you know, um, uh, in the equation. And we, Queen of Swords in River, I don't feel it's another person. It can be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. We have Cancer energy. But I feel that this is, this is we, you know, this world of mine, it's not Ten of Cups, right? Life was no longer blissful. Four of Pentacles, we are no longer uh, putting down foundations. We are like, what's going on here, you know? And, um, and I kind of feel it was intentional, such that yes, it was. Or it, this is your energy in your mind right now, right? Um, saying to yourself, well, if I don't have stability and if I don't have love and I, if I don't have kindness, if I don't have people working, um, you know, shoulder to shoulder with me, I mean, what's the point? What's the purpose, right? At least this is how it feels. Okay. So let's look into past energies. On your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Let's look at current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual, and let's have the possible outcome. Let's have the possible outcome for you, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Page of Wands, we need passion. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, we are completely impatient. And the King of Wands, we need passion and action, right? Such study is passion and action this is i and you know it you know how it feels it feels like that energy where when things are too boring and kind of linear we go for how about a little bit of a vibe right how about a, a little bit of zigzagging and this is how it feels right oh, where is love where is passion stability i want all of it and, and you deserve it such that as we all deserve it and i feel that somebody's um ready to let a, a tower fall or something 
Um, so energy in the passage there, yes, we do have the Empress in reverse and the Two of Pentacles in reverse. So probably it's been a while that we let go of it. The Empress in reverse is the energy I have nothing left to give. I've been an Empress, a mom, right? Um, a wife, um, a lover, a passionate lover. I mean, the Empress is... She's all of it, right? And um, and the Two of Pentacles in reverse is like, that's it. I, I stop working on it, you know? I stop uh, being the only one. And Two of Pentacles, it's, um, well, if it falls apart, it falls apart, you know? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to live with it and with my consciousness that I gave everything. That's the Empress here, right? And I kind of feel the stability was more on your side because the overall energy it feels quite unstable. We are letting go of something because it feels unstable. We are not building from foundations. We are like patching things, you know. And uh, we only delay intentionally an ending that uh, we naturally see it coming, uh, you know. So Now this person of yours. They do have the Nine of Wands. They are very hurt by what's going on right now. A little bit guarded, a little bit protective of themselves. Uh, trying to heal the wounds created by this connection. Fully unhappy. Such that is in the past. Three of Cups. Fully unhappy. And the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. And yet wanting to stay committed. Um, somebody might not be financially stable. Um, and... Um, Probably as all the abundance is on your side, I kind of feel that they've been a little bit, um, you know, comfortable in an energy where you provided and they felt in some way, um, you know, with the nine of pentacles, some, some way independent or at least having, right, some resources and, and, and a sense of financial stability. But then they got hurt by uh, probably you abandoning or letting go of, of this energy of the provider, of the nurturing, of the loving asking what do you do right it's it, it has an energy of explosive reactions to, to things right and finally a desire to break free and um the chariot the chariot and the tower and i don't know who is very expressive like this but it's really really coming out of a connection with a bang right that's like breaking free and letting everyone know you know with the noise of the horses right <laughs> you know the, uh, yeah, yeah, I know it's a Romanian expression and probably you, you will not get it, but the point is, um, you know, we really uh, made, oh, not a show, but it had to be a, a, a staple of what's going on and it had to be seen. Now, mutual energies between the two of you, the Ten of Wands, and we do have the High Priestess. And it feels like the burden of unsaid things. I don't feel it's secrets. It comes to mind to say secrets intuitively. I know I'm pushed to say secrets, but I, I'm not sure this is about secrets. It can be, but by the untold things, right? Um, so probably communication is not flowing. Probably there are ways of uh, saying things. And in your connection with this person, some things were not allowed to be said. Or it was not, it would it would have come with um, consequences, so we preferred not. But that is a burden for both of you, of un, the burden of unsaid things, you know. Um, and I kind of feel that probably that's why you disconnected and gave up, and that's why they were fully unhappy. So where are we right now? Again, letting go. You have twice such that as the Four of Pentacles in reverse as the overall energy and a confirmation. We are letting go of this. Might have been like, um, you know, a solid um, building at some point. You really want it, right? That's a Four of Pentacles. I'm putting coin on coin to make sure that we have a future or whatever children. And so we let go not only of this person at this time, but we are also letting go of the what is coming with it the nine of swords in reverse too much thinking too much pain too much worries too much everything and it's about time we release and i feel that i'm picking up the energy of a sagittarius it's like i don't give an f you know this is how it feels the whole energy you know yeah we might want to say something and it comes to mind and it comes right to the tip of the tongue right and then we say mm, i don't think i'm gonna say it you know um but I'm going to go out with a bank, you know, um, kind of making a statement of some sort for all the things unsaid and the burden of unsaid things. 
Um, so this person of yours, Sagittarius, they do have the King of Pentacles in reverse, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, and we do have the Lovers in reverse. So struggling, right? Struggling to disconnect, struggling to, um, you know, to not give more to this connection at some point. And I would say they might be going through like a big financial instability at this point, such that is on their side that it's like holding on to you because of this financial insecurity. And right now, the lack of love makes them unstable and also unstable financially, right? That's a king of pentacles. It, it has this energy without you, I have nothing. And that's exactly the overall energy all over them, um, such that is without you, I have nothing. Now, mutual energies between the two of you, we do have the five of wands and the strength. One is furious, one wants to find a solution. Um, the strength in reverse is no, I'm not going to tame myself. And again, this energy, right? The strength is inner strength and courage and taming and being on our best behavior and really con containing and taming. In reverse is like, oh, just watch me, right? So I kind of feel somebody is really in that energy where I just watch me. I'm letting go. I'm letting go of worries. Do not cross my path. Do not show my way. Show, show up, right? Uh, do not come my way. Well, the other person is five of wands. So let us have some, you know, let's put uh, to bed a couple of conflicts here. Let's find a solution. Because again, without you, I'm nothing. Uh, such that is King of Pentacles in reverse. I have nothing. Without you, I have nothing. That's exactly the lovers in reverse. And, right? Now the outcome, we do have the King of Cups and the High Priestess. So we might have a secret emotion for someone. We might have, that is a sense of, um, a sense of, something that is hidden inside of you you know it you know it your intuition knows it your intuition is yelling at you right now with this king of cups energy and the high priestess we might have a secret love we might have a secret crush we might um actually secretly opening up to love king of cups but it's quite a mature offer of love to be an uh, a beginning of something so I do believe you know what I'm talking about. And I do believe if you don't know, somebody secretly has a crush on you. King of um, Cups and the High Priestess. Right? Unspoken emotions and unspoken feelings. So the burden of secrets with the unspoken feelings, that makes a lot of secrets on your shoulders such that it's a lot of, um, a lot of silence. Some you understand, some you don't. Now, this person of yours, they want to talk to you about stability and family and kids and moving forward, um, you know, in a secure manner. And pentacles are all over the, the, the place combined with love. So they might be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. Um, but I kind of feel that they really have to be smart about money, stability, home, legacy. I mean, it's their main focus. Stability is their main focus. Mutual energies um, between you and your person um, coming your way. Palace of Swords in reverse and the Ten of Wands in reverse. If you don't talk to me, I feel relieved. That's energy here. I don't know whose energy I picked up, but Palace of Swords is a world of silence. And it's combined with I, I'm good, Ten of Wands in reverse. I can finally put all the burdens down and have some peace of mind. You know? It's mutual energies. Um, in a sense, probably because they want to talk to you about stability and foundation and money. I kind of feel this is your energy and combined with the high priestess is the energy of silence. So do not talk to me. Your whole reading is screaming. I'm, you know, it's like, I don't give an F. Do not talk to me. And, and the, the whole world can collide, right? Or whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm out of the bank, right? So let's ask for some guidance. Should we really, right? The question is yay or nay. And boy, they, I mean, this person, so unhappy without you. And they have nothing without you. Even, even in, even they want to talk to you about stability and money. This is having ideas, making a plan, being strategic when it comes to money and stability and I mean, it's the only message on their side, actually. Without you, I have nothing. 
So let's see the guidance. What do we have? <laughs> Such status, we have reconciliation. The universe is saying someone from the past is returning to your life. And I kind of feel it, it might be this King of Cups, which is a completely different person. You might have Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in your life right now. And you have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio coming your way or vice versa. But that is coming. Somebody from the past is coming your way. Then we have love yourself first, such that is. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. We do have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual types and expected type and expectations. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment. And we do have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So you have to tell me how this resonates, but absolutely there is someone from the past coming your way. You have a strong bond with them. And, um, you know, you need to keep an open mind and you need to love yourself first. So you tell me what this is. It's definitely two people. Let's see what else is there. Have some clarity. Yeah. Um, we have reconciliation and love yourself first. So how about you start loving yourself? Um, all over again, we might have lost ourselves in a connection. I mean, the Empress is giving everything to someone, right? And the universe is rebalancing the scales and saying, you know what? Why don't you love yourself first, right? That's a message out. Why don't you reconcile with yourself, right? We might have been conflicted lately and feeling that you are not walking your path or you are going against your values and morals and and whatever makes you walk the earth at peace, right? So what do we have? We have maturity. We have reconciliation and maturity. So somebody really needs to be smart about something mature. We do have forgiving and learning and maturity. It comes from, they walk hand in hand, right? So some of you are really in self-respect goes with love yourself first. Well, such that is we cannot have a more clear message. Let's be. Uh, wise about and self-respect love yourself first and chivalry manners education but not in a sense of studies and, and diplomas right more in a sense of being smart and wise and um, well-mannered and polite and um, you know and I, I so understand you know because we do have the strength in reverse right at the core of the reading so we are frustrated and not giving an F and we have the tower and the chariot going out with the bank so it's kind of like the universe coming stepping in and saying I know I know we feel frustrated but you know if we have to go out of a connection let's do it politely right forgiving and learning with self-respect we do have spend quality time together listen and talk to each other and if this is a letting go of a partnership i still feel right that we have something to say and we do have in the past the burden of silence so i kind of feel now it's an opportunity to spend time and listen and talk and end this in a very uh, respectful way for yourself and for them because you know what such says you do have self-respect and chivalry right so they say chivalry towards yourself and then towards the person you le you leave behind we do have rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take a break. Just saying, I have, I need, I know. So you are too, I'm pretty sure. So let's look into the energies we need to put back into the flow. And we have friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So for some of you it might be a friend that we reconcile with, right? We become mature about this connection or the connection matured and now it goes from, um, you know, from friendship to, to more. I mean, I cannot make this up, Sagittarius. You have love yourself first, self-respect and self-esteem. Are you kidding me? Three times. So now we need to listen, right? It's like three times. Now we need a bit of analysis here because something is not um, um, functioning, right? That is something about the way you see yourself, the, the way you value yourself, the way you appreciate, the way you see 
your qualities, your gifts, the way you act. So we have self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. We have humor. Oh, I love this, right? So I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. We need to laugh from time to time, right? We need to have fun, to enjoy life. And we have forgiveness. You have twice. You have three times self-esteem and you have twice forgiveness. So I don't know if you need to forgive yourself. Sagittarius, that is a strong message for somebody here. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Right? But it must be a connection between forgiving, learning, letting go, and self-esteem. Right? And bottom of the deck, action. You have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul. Um, so we have this energy going out with a bang and um, showing uh, this person something and uh, making a statement and, and having a sense of... Um, you know, a sense of, I'm going to break the silence and it's going to be ugly. And the advice is like, come on, you know, uh, let's slow down. Let's take it slowly. Let's forgive. Let's be, that is a lesson in it. And, and it's good. We all have something positive to take out of this situation, right? So let's ask for some general guidance. Um, Sometimes it's career related, sometimes it's, um, it is connected to this love situation, we'll see. So what do we have? We have counseling, so maybe we need someone, right? Uh, wise advice. So you heal with kind words, wise advice, and an empathetic ear, right? So we need, we need counseling, I guess. Somebody here, Sagittarius, is guided to speak to someone. We do have practice. Polish your skills by practicing regularly. Maybe you are a counselor and the universe is saying, we need to practice just a little bit more. It's a tough time. We are going through challenges. And bottom of the deck, speaker. Your life purpose involves your skills of oration. So somebody is a counselor, I pick up the energy. Can be, right, a doctor, a nurse, um, intervention worker, social worker, you name it, right? Um, all the healthcare professions here, but absolutely counseling, practice, and speaker somehow um, involves probably somebody. Um, yeah. So, Sagittarius, I feel that the whole reading is tempering you down, but again, you always have to use your better judgment, right? I really count on you um, to do that. And. Um, and see what happens. So hey, we are guided. Forgive, forgive and let go. Self-esteem, all this. Friendship, kindness, chivalry, right? So hey, you know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe out there. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.